The next presentation by Nogok Tran, size control synthesis and functionalization of large gold nanoparticles. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ngoc Trang, uh, a PhD, first year PhD student from Professor Vito Puntes Group at Institute Catalan de Nanotechnologia. And it will be my pleasure to be here today to present one of our group work, which entitled Side Control Synthesis of Gold Nanoparticle, uh, Side Control Synthesis and Functionalization of Large Gold Nanoparticle. And as usual, this is the, my outline with motivation, the method we use, uh, the result we got, and some conclusion. It is well known that gold nanoparticle has been used um, technologically and therapeutically since ancient time, and they are now attracting more and more interest because of their unique chemical and physical property, which arise from a phenomena so-called surface plasma resonance. Um, <clears throat> due to this property, they are considered as a um, good candidate for application in various fields, namely plasmonic, uh, catalysis, and biomedicine. Among them, the last site gone and particle um, have been potentially used in SERS or uh, due to their um, due to their near IR the S SPR band, they they are preferably used in biological application as well. Therefore, a lot of effort have been done to try to control the the size of the gold nanoparticle. And one of the efficient approach to do this is the sitting mediated um, strategy. The city growth of gold nanoparticle were pioneered by the Nathan group with a growth up to 100 nanometer and then were um, followed by Liz Mazan group with a growth up to 180 nanometer using CTAB as the site controlling agent and recently were <clears throat> further developed by uh, Ziegler and his co-workers with a curl up to 300 nanometer. Even though the resultant nanoparticle from this work are showing the improved physical properties, um, but their synthesis were accompanied by either the second population of broad shape or the restrict in further functionalization by, because of the use of um, uh, the molecule which strongly binds to the gold surface or post-synthetic process. So in our work, we study the condition by which it is possible to, con to obtain the gold nanoparticle, a blast site and high stability. Um, via cyclic growth method. And this method will allow a better control of the final site and provide the, um, a highly stable and readily functionalized particle. So how we did it? Well, in the growth up to 30 nanometer, First, we prepare a sick solution by injecting the gold precursor into a boiling solution of sodium citrate, and followed by several growth steps with a sequential addition of sodium citrate and uh, theta chloroauric acid. And to obtain um, the last side particle with a high stability and monodispersity, we manipulate three parameters of crucial importance, which are temperature, the ratio between gold precursor and the six solution, and the, the third one is the pH of the reaction. And in particularly, immediately after the synthesis of the six solution, we cooled down the 
reaction to 90 degrees Celsius to inhibit the new nucleation and, uh, and delay the defocusing process at the same time. The added amount of gold monomer in each growth step were controlled to, to um, prevent the secondary nucleation as well. And the pH of the reaction were maintained at around 7 by the addition of sodium citrate to, to prevent the protonation of the citrate and then maintain the stability of the particle. And then the obtained um, nanoparticle were characterized by UVVs and TEM. This figure shows the absorption spectra of gold colloid obtained after different growth step and the evolution of the SPR wavelength uh, as a function of the growth step, which correlated well with the TM result, uh, showing that the particle is growing. And to know how the particle grow, either by, uh, whether by atom addition or the aggregation, we also monitor a single growth step by extracting different aliquots at different reaction time. And uh, we observe two behavior in uh, UVB's race results. There's a slight, uh, there's a great redshift at shorter time due to the, the formation of intermediate aggregated form and then followed by a, a slight blue shape, indicating that the um, growth of the particle is by uh, atom addition. So in principle, there are no reason again to further grow using uh, this method, but uh, we stop at uh, the generate the 13th growth step because if we keep doing this way, uh, it will require the consumption of a huge amount of gold precursor. Mm. So to solve this problem, in the growth up to 180 nanometer, before each growth step, we try to dilute the sixth solution. And in each generation, we uh, inject the go monomer twice to facilitate the focus, the side focusing. The evidence uh, for the um, nanoparticle growth was, can be seen from the UVB's result, and once again, this correlated well with the TM image. Uh, here is the statistic, statistical um, table for the, for the size of the obtained nanoparticle after different growth steps. And we also estimate the achieved size by using this equation with the assumption that on the go edit were uh, completely consumed and the particles are, shape, are spherical in shape and there's no se further secondary uh, nucleation. And as we can see, the um, experimental value fit with the theoretical um, ones. And certainly as proposed, the, these particles, the last size nanoparticle were readily for further functionalization with different molecules including, uh, for example, mercaptor and acid or the pectione to generate different surface and different particle with different surface property. So to sum up, um, with this method, the gold nanoparticle of large size and high stability were obtained uh, through a cyclic growth method by controlling the different reaction condition. And these particles are ready for further functionalization. Interestingly, we are trying to apply this uh, process on silver, a material which is believed to be difficult to control the monodispersity. And we have been and obtain some preliminary result. Um, because of the time limit, so I don't have opportunity to 
to present our work in details. So if you are interested in, you can look, take a look at um, our paper, which is published in Lamour in 2011. Uh, and, on, and last but not least, I'd like to give a bit of appreciation to my group for their great help and support in pre preparing the presentation. Thanks for your listening. Questions? I have one question. It's, it's difficult to get over 200 nanometer with gold nanoparticles. I'm sorry? It's difficult to get over 200 nanometers with. Uh, in principle, the, um, uh, the second method that we, we present up to 180 nanometer, we dilute, we try to dilute the six solution before the X growth step. And to do in that, we can grow further more than 200 nanometer. We stop at the, um, at the 14 growth step because of transparency limit, but there's no reason against further uh, grow up to higher size. Okay. I think it's very interesting that you can produce different sizes of particles. Um, but can you uh, tell something about the amounts of particles? Can you produce large volumes? And, and uh, if you do it yeah, w one week after the other, is then the sizes, uh, are the sizes reproducible? So, so how, yeah, how, much, how much can you make? And what's the reproducibility of your method? Um, so in each batch, we are preparing 150 milliliters of uh, uh, of gold nanoparticle, and, and the concentration of the particle is around 10 to 12, 10 to 12 milli, uh, nanoparticle per milliliter. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I can't hear you. What is the, uh, the seed that you're using? The seed, the seed were prepared by sodium citrate. That's in, in, we injected prepared, the... But what, what is it? Is it the gold? Yes. The gold, uh, what, what size? Around 8 to 10 nanometer. Okay, and you grow all that. Yeah, okay. It's mm -hmm. like a classic precipitation. Uh, precipitation. No, the, the classic one is injecting the... Uh, the sodium citrate into into the boiling solution of gold, but in our method we we do the reverse method. We inject the 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 gold precursor in in sodium citrate, and it's proved that the, with this inverse method, the monodispersity of the particle will improve a lot. Okay, we thank the speaker again. Um, we go to the.